Hi, Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com, and I'm coming to you from my home office outside of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Let me ask you a question. Are you ready to throw in the towel on your business? Do you feel like you've tried anything and everything and nothing seems to work? Well, stick around because on this episode of The Doctor Is In, I'm going to share with you a simple attitude strategy that you can learn from the honey badger that will help you achieve success in your business. So stay tuned. The Honey Badger. You probably have seen that viral video that came out in 2011 by Randall where it goes, Honey Badger don't care. Honey Badger don't give up. Beep. And I watched one of the most amazing documentaries about the Honey Badger last night on Netflix called Honey Badger's Masters of Mayhem. And it was really fascinating because it's centered around a 22-year-old Honey Badger named Stoffel and his girlfriend, Hammy. And they were wreaking havoc in this safari sanctuary. This is owned by a caretaker for the last 20 years who rescues these wild animals, these safari animals who've been hurt or injured, and they can no longer survive in the wild. So we created a sanctuary especially for them. And Stoffel and Hammy are just wreaking havoc in the sanctuary. They're going into the owner's home, literally eating them out of house and home, raiding the refrigerator. They're going into these beehives that beekeepers have on the property and eating all the bees and larvae, which is one of the honey badger's favorite foods to eat. And they're picking fights with the lions. They literally dig under the fence where the lions are and they're going and picking fights. So all the animals are having all their agita rays. They're very anxious. So the owner of the sanctuary decided to build a honey badger jail, which he calls Honey Badger Alcatraz. So we built this huge pit that had smooth concrete walls and embankments. He put Stoffel and Hammy in there thinking, okay, this is going to stop them from creating havoc and mayhem all over the sanctuary. The next morning, to his surprise, those two escaped. And he figured, trying to figure out how did they do that? Well, here in the middle of, the, of their jail was this tree. It wasn't too old, but it wasn't young enough. But it was enough where Stoffel and Hammy were able to bend the trunk of the tree and the branches to the point where it would touch the outer lip of the jail. And they were able to climb up the tree and get out. So the owner went and removed the tree. Then he thought, well, they're not going to get out. But to his dismay the next day they broke free here's what those little crazy honey badgers did they dug in the dirt and found these stones and rocks they just held them in their claws and they rolled over and made a rock hill in the corner of the jail and then they climbed up the rock hill and escaped so now the caretaker went in and they re-excavated the pit they took out all the rocks and stones and said now they're not going to get loose he goes to bed that night with his wife, and all of a sudden there's a huge crash. The window breaks. Here they thought it was a burglar coming in, but it was Stoffel and Hammy who had the munchies. They managed to escape Honey Badger Jail and decided to raid the kitchen. So to his dismay, he goes out and he looks. Here's what those little crazy honey badgers did. They made a mud pile. They went and used the cistern that was filled with water so they could drink. Using the water from the cistern, they made a mud pile that they put in the corner and they built it all the way to the top ledge and they escaped. What does that tell you about the mind of a honey badger? They're relentless and they're very intelligent because a honey badger, when it has an objective, it has only two outcomes. They're either going to win or they're going to learn. Now, how does this apply to your business if you feel like you're giving up? Well, if you're feeling that you're at that point, guess what? There's always a way if you're committed. That's one of my favorite sayings from Tony Robbins. If a honey badger in a jail with very little equipment can figure out how to bust out of it by making a mud pie out of water to climb out, do you think you can find a way to make your business work for you? I bet you can, because we are smarter than honey badgers, but what we need to develop is that tenacity. Nothing stands in the way between what a honey badger wants, not even lions. 
So that's what you need to do. But what you need to do is really examine your vision and how badly do you want to achieve that vision? How badly do you want freedom for yourself or your family? How badly do you want to pay off those bills? How badly do you want to be your own boss? You have to ask those questions because when you want something bad enough, you will find a way to get what you want. Did you find today's video helpful? Leave a comment and share. And before you go, make sure you register for this free webinar tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is hosted by my good friend and Facebook marketing expert, Michelle Pesco Salido. If you haven't noticed, Facebook's been doing a lot of new updates and features that Michelle has been using to increase traffic to her blog by as much as 75%. And she's going to show you how to use those features so that you can get more traffic to your blog. In order to do that, go to webinar.drlisamthompson.com, register right away. It's 100% free, but this webinar is going to fill up very quickly. And some people may get shut out. I don't want that to happen to you. So get your seat and then make sure you arrive 15 to 30 minutes early to assure your spot. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Doctor Is In. And I will talk to you tomorrow.